Today we are going to learn how to install a Flutter on your Windows machine. So for that we need a following tools like a Flutter SDK, Android Studio and uh, Git VS Code for a code editor. So here I am going to give a step by step instruction how to install it on your Windows machine. So this video is going to be around 15 minutes but it will take around 1 to 2 hours to complete the setup because we have to download a lot of things and we have to complete the setup. So at the end of the video our goal is to run our default flutter application so the default flutter application looks something like this so let's let's jump into the session go to this link make sure you have a proper system requirement such as os disk space tools we need a powershell it's inbuilt with the windows 10 if not you have to install let's start with the git as a first step we have to install the git on our machine let's do it Click to download. Let's start the installation. Now the Git is installed successfully. Let's finish. Once the Git installation is completed successfully, so you have to download the Flutter SDK and let's do it. At the time of recording, it's a 2.0.5. Uh, you can see the different version, that doesn't matter. You just need to download and follow the step. Once the SDK is downloaded, just copy that and paste inside the C folder. So then you have to extract the folder. After the extraction, go to the folder, flutter and bin and you have to copy this path and right click the computer and go to the properties, click advanced system settings and click advanced and environment variables. Under the system variable, you have to select the path and click edit and add new. So here you have to paste your path and click OK, OK and OK. You can close this. Now we have done the Flutter setup. So to generate the APK, we need an Android Studio. Uh, I will explain how to do it. To download Android Studio, go to developer.android.studio and click the download. So you have to accept the terms and download the Android Studio. Once the download is completed, let's start the installation. Click next, next, next install. Now the Android Studio is installed, let's launch it. So let's create a new project. You can select the theme and let it download a few stuff. So it downloaded completely. Let's click finish and create a new project. It takes a couple of minutes to set up. So you can see the progress here. It will do the initial setup for Android Studio. Once the setup is done, go to the file and settings, go click the blackings and search for a flutter. So you need to install this blacking. So it records a dot so you can accept it. Let's install. So once it is done, restart the Android Studio. Open, open your command prompt and type Flutter Doctor. Now you can see Android Studio has been installed successfully. So now we only need to accept the license. Let's do it. 
just need to copy and paste it and hit enter accept the license and all so now everything is fine so go to this link to download the vs code and start the installation so open the vs code go to the extension so here you have to search for a flutter so we have to install this plugin so now the plugin has been installed successfully we are ready to go to run a flutter application on a device so we have a two method one you can run it on a virtual device otherwise you can run it on a um, real device so I suggest uh, go with the real device because it's going to be much faster because uh, like uh, if you are using a virtual device it, it need a lot of resource around like a uh, 8 GB 16 GB RAM uh, even though it, it is going to be very slow but I strongly recommend to test with the real device and uh, let's see how to do it. To run the simulator open a AVD manager in Android studio. So you can list uh, you can see the list of uh, virtual device if not you can create a new virtual device select the device click next and yeah you, you can choose the operating system click next and click finish you can you can name it and click finish so i already have i'm going to start this so it's running to to connect the device you have to connect the device with the usb cable and go to the settings and you can scroll down under the system you can see an about phone you have to click the build number for multiple times it will enable the developer mode so once it is done so you go to the settings and then go to system and you can see a developer option here you need to enable the developer option and USB debugging. So now the setup is completely done. So let's create a new Flutter project and let's rock it. Let's create a new folder on the desktop to work with a Flutter project. So I'm going to name it as a Flutter learning. So then I, then I need to open a command prompt. I need to change my working directory so I'm putting cd space and the directory and hit enter so now I can create a new project flutter create first app this will create a new flutter project once the project is created I need to change the working directory cd space first app And then I need to open it with my code editor code dot. So now you can see the main dot dot. So this is the sample code which we don't want to worry about now. Let's run the application on the device. So to run it, I'm opening the terminal. I need to execute flutter run. It will take a couple of minutes for a first time. So here is the default output for a flutter. I hope you completed all setup and run the default application on your device. And I just want to know how do you feel it. So this is your first flutter application. I just want to see your emotion. So let's rock it on the next video.